Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. A few things before we kind of really dive into this. Sorry this lighting is so bad, I don't have like the majority of my recording equipment and stuff with me. I'm at my parents' house for part of the summer, so... This is the last video of the How To College series for me, and I have had the greatest time putting together these videos because I really feel like they have improved my ability to kind of talk about my experiences and everything, but also hopefully have given you a little bit um, of advice and just based off of my own experiences, um, kind of prepared you for your college experience. You can apply those things to somehow improve your current college experience. I did an interview a couple weeks ago now and uh, the person who was interviewing me actually had seen these How To College videos and she herself was going into college and really just mentioned how they really um, actually kind of helped her and prepared her for what to expect in college. It was really nice to hear and it made me feel really good because I really put a lot into these videos and it's nice to see that kind of pay off. I just got um, glasses, if you can't tell. I have like, my eyesight has always been okay. It just hasn't been the greatest. It's always been good enough that I didn't necessarily need them, but like as I'm getting older and as I'm doing more like schoolwork and I'm doing reading and I'm for like in looking at a computer for like hours and hours a day, it really helps and already like I can see myself so much better in the viewfinder. It's insane. So hopefully my videos are going to look better because while I'm filming them I can actually see what's going on. This video is going to be all about scheduling, how to manage your schedule and everything in college. This really depends on the kind of person you are, who you're trying to be, what you're trying to go for. For me, I was somebody who at the start of college really just wanted to make sure I did everything that I wanted to, make sure I took advantage of those opportunities and really pursued uh, the kinds of things I wanted to be a part of. Of course, with school though, the number one thing is actually going to class. Side note, my biggest advice, go to class. There will be people in college who don't go to class, rarely go to class, never go to class. And those occasionally skip every once in a while. I will be totally open and honest with you guys. I rarely skipped class. The few times that I did, it was because, um, like for example, we had a huge project, he pushed it back like another week. We had, we did like another peer editing day, and at least in my experience, I don't gain too much from like the peer edit thing, so I went to the library instead and worked on my own um, project instead of going to class that day. It's things like those when I actually skip class though, I always go to class even, because even if you're not necessarily getting something out of that hour, like what would you really be doing with that hour? Like you are gaining so much just from being there, having the professor know you're being there and that you care about the class, really it goes a long way. And then at the end of the semester if you're trying to boost your grade, you can tell your professor, I never missed a single class that really helps. So really, when you're making your schedule, you wanna prioritize your classes. Make sure you don't ever have to miss any of those. For me, I really like uh, morning classes. First semester of college, I had class about 9 a.m. every single day of the week, and then um, would be done around noon. That was a really great schedule because by the time it hit like 12 o'clock, my brain starts to kind of shut down and go into like the lazier part of the day and that's when I could have more of like activity based things and I had to listen to lectures and stuff in the morning when I could just drink my coffee and kind of be attentive. Second semester I actually tried something different where um, my earliest class was at noon and I was done around 5. I had a 3 hour class on Monday nights and I had no class on Wednesdays. I loved that schedule so much. I find that in the mornings I'm more productive. Doing like small type assignments, tasks, laundry, all those extra kind of things I could just get done in the morning and knowing I had to get them done by noon for class really helped me just kind of jump and get on it. So by the time I got to class at 12 o'clock, I really felt like I had already done a productive day. So it really just depends on you. It's gonna take a couple tries to see what really works for you and best in your schedule. Freshman year, you probably will go to class five days a week. Um, I just got lucky because second semester, the classes I were taking were just minimal class time. When creating your schedule, I don't really recommend going over five hours of class a day. It's really easy and really tempting just to want to load everything into one day and then just have the rest of the week easy. My roommate, um, last semester, he had like class from like nine to nine on Mondays, and then had like one class Tuesday and Thursday and had the rest of the week off, which worked for him, but really I know I couldn't sit in class and get out of the lectures what I needed to if I was in class sitting there for 12 hours on a Monday. I knew I would do better kind of having them spaced out. So when creating my schedule for this fall, at the start of my sophomore year, I knew I kind of had to follow that similar schedule that I had last semester where I like had Wednesdays off, 
uh, classes at like noon, just discussions on Fridays. And I know this is probably particular to BU. I don't really know much how it works in other schools, what your class sort of like layout looks like and everything. But my biggest piece of advice is just to schedule around you, try out different things, see what you like, and know when you're most productive. Most people kind of already know, especially just going through high school, you know, are you more productive in the mornings, more productive in the afternoons, evenings, you have to make the decision. Should you schedule your classes when you're most productive or not when you're most productive? Because I found that having classes in the evening and afternoon when I'm not as productive forces me to be productive and pay attention. Whereas in the mornings when I'm more, my mind is more awake, I want to accomplish more, I'm able to still do the homework and everything. Plus I'm dealing with the time constriction of having a later class that I actually have to get the, these things done. It's not in the evening where I'm working on homework and it's like 11 o'clock and like I still have more work to do. I have to stay up and like my sleep gets less. I'm really proud of myself actually. I think the shortest night of sleep I had my freshman year was probably six hours. I am somebody who needs like eight hours of sleep a night to be productive and do everything that they need to do. That's what I made sure happened. So moving on from actually scheduling classes, adding in extracurriculars. This is a whole new bubble itself. Most of your meetings and extracurricular things will be in the evenings. Um, so you really want to make sure you have, usually Tuesday and Thursday evenings are when a lot of things happen. Um, so last semester I was done with my classes at 5 o'clock, I usually could go right to meetings, right to everything, kind of for clubs and stuff I was involved with. That's a really common time for people to meet, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings. You kind of want to leave those open so you can be open to club opportunities. Okay, 8 a.m.s. 8 a.m.s are inevitable. I consider myself very lucky that I never had to take an 8 a.m. class. You probably will though. I just want to reiterate, scheduling is a very per-person kind of scenario and issue. I know now when scheduling, I have my internship on campus and I know that is like four to six hours at a time. So I've left holes. So I have basically all of Wednesday and after nine o'clock AM on Fridays, I have free for the rest of the day and I'm trying to work another job and I need time for um, starting a magazine. I need time for those meetings and everything. I've saved time in the evenings. I've saved that time on Friday to work, Wednesday to work, and my weekends are free. So really you learn kind of as you go what best works for you. I thought I'd want all morning classes first semester of freshman year. So you really have to kind of work on a case by case like basis, try out different things, and also understand that you're not gonna get like only three days a week of class. You're there to go to class, so prioritize that. Then think about internships, clubs, everything like that. Scheduling is definitely a really hard thing to do. I have learned so much about organizing my time, time management, everything my first year, and it's not something I can really talk about and have click for you. It's really something you need to work on on your own and figure out what works best for you. Lastly, make sure you have a solid calendar. I knew people who didn't have like a calendar, no idea how they survived because I find myself seeing opportunities and saying yes, and then I have to add them to my calendar. A week later when it's happening, I forget that it's happening and I need that on my calendar to actually remind me to go to this thing. Um, I just, I think I use whatever the Apple calendar is, it's on my Mac. Um, I use that calendar, schedule everything, but I know a lot of people use Google Calendar. Those are all really good programs. Some people still like doing writing in a planner, um, doing things that way. For me, I really like my digital calendar because I can check it on my laptop or I can check it on my phone. Um, so I don't need to have my laptop with me if I'm scheduling a meeting or adding some study session, whatever it may be. So scheduling is really important. Set up that time management platform, whether, whatever it may be, whether it be in a planner, online, Google, whatsoever. And by now you probably have something. I am a huge organizational person. I really like color coding. I really like scheduling. That's just something I really like. So I get a lot of good energy when I have um, like a schedule in front of me when I have things like color coded, like work, class, everything. So that kind of concludes this video. But before you click away, I just want to say if you have any additional questions about your college experience, whether it be scheduling, roommates, finding work, internships, any of the videos that I've done, or any other questions whatsoever. I really, really want to be a resource. I know it can be such an intimidating experience and there's only so much you can find online. Usually college websites just have their academics, their study abroad programs and everything. Um, but if you really want to know about student life, um, I can definitely speak well for BU and I can even mention just kind of the things I've learned if you're not going to BU or some other school. I really want to act as a resource because I know I would have really benefited 
going into my freshman year from somebody like me that just kind of experienced it, kind of give this advice like, you're not gonna know this at first. Even somebody just telling me, you're gonna have to trial and error and figure it out, will kind of ease just a lot of the stress. And there's tons of great on-campus resources, make sure you look into those. Scheduling is a really hard thing and is really, I'm gonna say it again, a case-by-case -case basis because some people really like to reserve time to relax, People like me like to book their day. One last thing, what I did was to make sure I did got everything done. This is more of a time management thing other than scheduling. What I did was the night before, on like just my notes on my computer, um, anything, I would write out what I'm doing for like every hour of for the next day. I get that's kind of meticulous and everything. It really helped me be productive and get everything done. I would write my to-do list, then say, okay, eight o'clock, I'm waking up. From 8 to 9, I'm getting ready, doing shower, whatever I need to do. 9 o'clock to 9.30, breakfast. 9.30 to 10 o'clock, you are editing, uploading this video. 10 o'clock, you have class until 12. From 12 to 1, you are meeting with this person for lunch to discuss this. From 1 to 3, you have this other class. From 3 to 5, you're meeting with this person to study. 5 to 6, you have a meeting for this. 6 to 7, you are going to the gym, you're working out. 7 to 8 is dinner. I know that sounds like a lot and it can be really overwhelming, but just doing that helped me keep on track on the day and just stay as productive as I needed to be. And it was a really useful resource. I still do it to this day and it's something that really just makes me feel like I have a lot more of a control on things and just really helps me out genuinely. If you have any questions about scheduling, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this How To College video series. Thank you so much to Geneve and Jules for being a part of it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. Make sure you watch Geneve and Jules' videos. Those will be in the description. It's our last ones. Catch up on um, all the videos. All the links will be in the description. We have, I guess after today we have nine um, different videos for you to watch. So you've got a whole summer to get ready for college, so watch those videos. There's still tons more coming for me. I'm going on tour this summer. All the dates and ticket info is in the description. I'm going to Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Toronto, Rochester, and then I'm gonna end up in Boston when I'm back in the fall. We're doing a show there. It's gonna be so much fun if you live in any of those cities or if you're around any of those cities, make sure you come out. Um, we can hang, I can play some music for you and it's gonna be a blast. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, I have tons more content coming this way this summer. I'll be vlogging and everything as I travel. I'll also be tracking all my travels on the Pinon app. Make sure you download Pinon, it's one of my favorite apps right now. I'm working with them on on kind of making my tour even bigger and better. I'm gonna be documenting all my travels and stuff on the app. My profile is a really cool map. You'll be able to see where I go, when I go, pictures, videos, everything. It's gonna be a really cool way to bring you on tour with me. So all that information will also be in the description. All right, I will talk to you all real soon. Thank you so much for watching. On behalf of Geneve, Jules, and I, have a great college experience. We are here for you if you need anything, and we will talk to you all real soon.